everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Did you all have a good weekend? I hope you had a good weekend. Let me know what you did. Let me know if there's anything that you want to share with us. I'm so glad you all are here today to make some resin coasters. These are really cute, really easy to make. These would make great gifts. Uh, yeah, we're going to make some resin coasters today. So we're going to wait till some more people come on the live. So we'll chit chat here for a bit. But if you are brand new here, I want to welcome you to Oak and Lamb. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here. And Becca, the voice that you will hear, the one answering the comments in the chat and dropping the the links and all the good stuff, changing the cameras and everything, is Miss Becca Oaks, who is also an owner and craft educator here. And we're so glad that you are here. We love crafting with you all. We love helping you all gain confidence in your crafting. That's what we're here to do. So ask any and all questions that you would like. And we can't wait to make this for you today. We can't wait. Uh, let me see. Oh my gosh, Christina went to a dessert festival and tried so many sweets. I am jealous. That sounds heavenly. That sounds amazing. Betsy worked on setting up her craft room. That is quite, quite. Shirley had a summer. barbecue at her sister's house. That sounds good. I'm yes. glad you all had a good weekend. That's amazing. Hi, everyone. Yes. So feel free to ask any and all questions you might have. As always, all of the links to everything that I'm going to be chatting about is going to be down in the description below. Uh, so definitely check there for all the links you might need. Yes. Oh, for Halloween treat. That's good, Shirley. It was heavenly and amazing. Christina, I bet it was a dessert festival. That sounds great. Yeah, Beth said, I must know more about this dessert festival. Right? Tracy said, I drank. <laughs> Tracy. Sometimes you just need to, Tracy. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Tara, I'm so glad I found you guys again. I was so upset when I didn't see you on MGL anymore. Of course, I had to now join the O&L flock. Tara, Hello. we're so happy I saw you join this weekend. Yes. We're so glad that you're here and you're a part of Oak and Lamb. We've missed you. We're so glad that you're here. I'm working on planning stuff for my mom's 70th surprise birthday party with my sister this Saturday, Kathy. Fun. That's amazing. Just I finished a wedding frame. Did amazing. you see Miss Mary said that? Uh, she finished what? She went, finished a wedding frame. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I was so, so I productive. Love, I love hearing what you guys do over the weekend. Yeah, Rachel did nothing all weekend. I was wait, I was waiting for like a really fun story. And she well, was like, uh, she, she had, Beck always comes in, always. What did you do this weekend? And my mom, blank. It's like when you lay a test in front of me and just all <laughs> the knowledge goes out of my head. I'm like, what did I do? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, okay. So we'll talk about some supplies Every time I say this is not going to be a long craft, I bite myself in the butt. So say it's going to be a long So one. this is going to be the longest craft you've ever seen. <laughs> so we'll just see how it evens out. Uh, we have a printer, an inkjet printer. This is a Canon Pixma printer. It is a really great printer. You're going to want that if you're wanting to do photo coasters. You don't have to. You can do just glitter resin coasters if you wanted to put like dried flowers in this or something like that you can do it i made mine pretty thin i don't know why i don't love a thick fat coaster i like a thin coaster it's just supposed to protect your surface you know your drink's gonna set on it so i don't really like mine super super thick at home i have marble coasters i don't know what possessed me about coasters that were so heavy and so thick but i did and now it's like I'm kind of correcting that. So I wanted to go with some thinner coasters today. Uh, but we have our printer and we have our printable vinyl that is our preference. This is HTV Raunt printable vinyl. It's printable vinyl sticker paper for inkjet and laser printers. That is what this little pouch says. And it's amazing. We have done some comparisons with it. And we have always loved Zakoto printable vinyl from Amazon until this bad boy came along. We tried it. We adore it. This is our new favorite. I've linked it down below for you guys if you're in the market for a printable vinyl. So that's what we're going to be using today to stick our photos onto the first layer of our glitter coasters. You guys know. The UV resin that we prefer is J Diction UV resin. It's incredible. So that's what we have today. I have a little 100 gram bottle, but you can also get this in 500 gram bottles that are pretty big. If you think you're going to use UV resin 
for just a few projects, I would go ahead and buy the big bottle. Mm -hmm. It's not that much more expensive and you get a lot more bang for your buck. Um, so we're using that today. We have some glitter. Some of this is from 1043vinyl.com and then our favorite kind of colors are from LMNOP. I did link that down below so you guys can check out their site. Uh, we not paid, not sponsored, nothing like that. We just love their glitter, it's really pretty. So check it out below. We have some little three ounce cups. I love these, love them. I always buy these. And then some craft sticks or popsicle sticks or whatever you guys like. Do you use sticker paper for photos? Surely, yes ma'am we do, for this project at least. We're using this um, printable vinyl. Now the title says sticker paper on the product, but it's not quite sticker paper. The sticker paper that we've used in the past is very thick and pretty much matte. I don't think most sticker papers are glossy and we prefer glossy for all of our photos. It just kind of makes them pop look a little bit more professional. So the HTV printable sticker paper is very similar to um, Zakoto that it we've is. loved in the past too. Yeah. I think the biggest draw for us is the price difference. Pro it's yeah. a lot cheaper for yeah. what is it? 55 sheets of that or something like that. It's a really good, check the link down below. As far really as good if price. you put them side by side in front of me, I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference. Yeah. Which is great because we've always loved Zakoto, but to have them be that incredible price is just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Do you, have you ever tried glitter from Hobby Lobby? Kathy, yes. You can use glitter from anywhere. Any glitter I don't want to say, yeah. oh, we'll only get this glitter. You can get glitter from Walmart, from the Dollar Tree. You can get glitter from anywhere. The only thing I'll say is make sure that if you want a thin coaster that you use fine glitter. The thicker your glitter, the thicker your resin layer is going to need to be. Um, also, I have to make note of this. If you're using a super fine glitter, don't use too much of it because when you're working with uv resin that is uv activated that's how it cures the problem comes in of if your glitter is making your resin too opaque you know too colored then the uv rays are not going to be able to penetrate and cure it perfectly so go a little bit lighter on the glitter than you're thinking you can also use resin pigments if you have have tried your hand at those or anything like that that you want to use or you can do these completely clear I think most people will probably opt to do this completely clear because I got to be honest, I don't know who out there wants actual glitter coasters chilling in their house to use. That's not saying you're not going to. I'm just saying I wanted to make mine glitter today to kind of give you a little extra step in the process, but you're probably going to be using clear resin for these. Becca's pretty offended that I would even suggest that no one's going to want to have a set of glitter coasters in their home, but you know. I'm honestly appalled. To each their own, for sure. I, mean, I, don't I don't know that think... I would have glitter coasters in my house, but I do love glitter. A, a pigment would be nice in it. Yes, like a color. A, yeah. You can even swirl them, you know. Go crazy, go crazy with that. Um, is the paper glossy or matte? Great question, Betsy. The question, the question. <laughs> the kind of paper we have is glossy and we love glossy, especially for photos. They really make them pop and look nice and professional. And we love it. Okay. Yeah, but get any glitter you want. The thicker the glitter, uh, the chunkier the glitter, the thicker your resin will have to be. Just chatting about that. Okay, next we have some reverse tweezers. You might need these. I actually prefer not to use them because you will be placing your vinyl down while it's inside the mold here. Um, and it's kind of harder to work with with these tweezers in my mind. It curls up on the side so you can't tell if it's perfectly in the center. So I prefer to use my hands with this, but these are great to use if you need them. We're making the whole coaster, Kathy. Uh, yeah. Whole thing, start we're making, to finish. We're making the whole thing start to finish. We are making a coaster out of thin air. There's no coaster and then by the end of this, there was gonna be a coaster. It's so fun to make, they're so easy. I put made two of these, just shelled them out in like 15 minutes earlier. Side note, speaking of everything start to finish, did you all, flock members, did you catch the member only live that we did on Thursday? Rachel showed you all start to finish how to make a glitter tumbler with a decal. Um, and also Rachel's sister was here. We got to meet Rachel's sister. Yeah. So if you're a flock member and you missed that and you wanna learn how to make uh, glitter tumblers really easily, uh, make sure you watch that. Please do. Yeah. And if you're not a member, become, become a, member. a member. Yeah, you can use the code 35 off, 35 OFF to get $35 off your first entire year with us. 
And then of course that'll unlock access to our hundreds of cut files with free commercial use licensing, our great member only uh, videos just like this one that I made, um, other amazing benefits for members and the private Facebook group. Ask any questions you want about that for sure. Um, how about alcohol inks for a classy swirl effect? Yes, Christian, you can use alcohol inks if you want to, resin pigment, whatever you want to use that you have already tried in resin and you know it's a success, go ahead and use it. Um, Rach just revealed her true colors and they weren't glittery. Crystal, I don't think I would have these in my house just because they're glittery. Now, I might have them if they were all one color, like all silver glitter or something like that. But today I'm making ones with different color glitter for each one, which is a little bit, a little bit out there for me. Becca's very colorful. I'm very boring. You guys know this. You know that. Okay. Um, I don't want to miss any questions. I loved meeting Rachel's sister, almost her twin, Linda. Yes, and right after that live, me and Becca left. She actually went to go help at her church, and I went to go eat lunch with my sister. And the hostess that was seating us at the restaurant called us twins. So um, it's already happening. It's already happening. Website um, answers Updates. really quick, just so that we can go ahead. And I actually did answer this, but I don't know if you didn't see my comment or not. But um, we ha the website is working for some people, and some it is still redirecting. Um, so it's getting cleaned up, but we have we are now in contact and working with the original web dev team um, who created the website and are um, basically passing the baton off to them to clean up the rest of it <laughs> so that we can get it ready for you all. But um, yes. yes, that's the update we have. ASAP. Hopefully yep. we can get it fixed ASAP. Yep. Um, okay, last of the supplies. We have our little cups. This is what I'm going to be pouring our resin in and mixing my glitter with. I uh, love those little cups, little disposable cups. I also have this little spray bottle. Did I get this at the Dollar Tree or did you get this? I didn't get it. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, this little spray bottle. It's a mist spray bottle. I think it was in the, like the cosmetic aisle at the Dollar Tree. And it's really good to put rubbing alcohol for resin projects because there are two ways that you can get rid of bubbles with resin projects. Usually I need to use them both. You can use alcohol spray as like a mist and it will pop all the bubbles on the surface. And then I feel like the heat of the liger will also get bubbles a little bit deeper than the alcohol will. I usually use both. You can just use one or the I've other. I've never used alcohol to pop bubbles. It's good. I don't even know that I knew that it would do that. It's pretty satisfying. Huh. So use whatever you want. Dealer's choice, totally fine. It's not a necessity. If you lay your resin down beautifully, you might not even need to pop any bubbles. That's that's rare for me. I usually have some bubbles to pop. Um, we have our Cricut Maker 3 today. I have a light grip mat. I have already cut and, or excuse me, I've already printed and cut our um, photos because I pre-printed and then cut during the live last time and it did not cut well after I like exited design space and reopened up these same projects, same size, same everything saved perfectly. So I went ahead and cut it today so we didn't have that problem because I really need those to be specific sizes. And then you'll also need a UV LED light or, or best case scenario, the sun. The sun is the best thing you can use to cure your UV resin hands down. Uh, so if you can go out there, pop it in the sunlight, that's perfect. But today we're going to be using the light because since I'm doing, again, thin coasters, it really doesn't take that long to do. Again, I prefer to do them outside if you can put them outside. The molds are also linked below. These are square molds. Um, if you want to get buy a couple of these, you could do a couple at a time, put them all outside. I mean, they would cure in like 30 seconds outside with as thin of a coat of resin as I'm doing. Make sure with whatever resin you get, you pay attention to the wattage needed for your lamp. This one is a 10 watt lamp, but it's LED, so that makes it a little bit different. Make sure you do your research, but we love J-Diction. J-Diction can be cured with this type of lamp. Okay, I think that's it. I think, I think, I think. Um, is that HTV on paper? It is. It sure is. Would you say that the molds for coaster holders would be too big to do with UV resin? Would you say that the molds for coaster holders would be too big to use? I'm going to guess so. Hmm? 
You mean like she's you, using a mold today for a coaster? I'm using a mold. Is that what you're asking? Would you is say she, that do you the think mold too for thick? coaster holders? Do you mean like the thing that hold? Like if you stack all four of these up and you slip it into it? Are you talking about oh. like that? I, if if so, I think that wouldn't really work with this. Which personally, I'm the top. We don't have a dining room table at home, even. Sorry, but we always eat on the couch, so I never have my coasters like put up. I always have them spread out on tables, anyways. To each their own, though. Becca is the the overhead is not focusing at all. That's can you, weird. Can you put your hand under it? Is it on autofocus or? Manual? It's on autofocus. There we go. Okay. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Let me know if you have any more questions. I don't want to miss anything. Don't want to miss anything. So, this is going to be a super easy process. Again, I've already um, printed out my photos, cut them, but I am going to show you in Design Space how I got to that point. So, if we want to switch over to Design Space, Becca will cut me off if there's any questions. I'm going to click Upload. I've chosen a couple of photos. Let's do this one of Baby Charlie because I why not so i'm gonna upload this one i mean just just can we just i'm so biased but that little baby i'm telling you it's the cutest thing in the world i can't even stand it okay so i'm gonna make this super small i'm gonna bring it down to like five inches just like this and my coasters are four inches the inside of my coaster mold is four inches by four inches and i want to see a little bit of my glitter poking out on the side so i'm gonna make my photo three and a half inches. I'm gonna go and grab a basic shape. I'm gonna get a square. I'm gonna make my square 3.5 inches. Now I'm gonna go up to operation right here and click the drop down menu and change it all the way down from basic cut to guide. That will allow me to place it on to this photo and get the exact angle that I want. So I'm gonna size this down a little bit so I can get a little bit more of Charlie on here. You can, um, Bring this in so you can see it better. And you can see that pink square. That's right where my grid is. It's allowing me to see where I'm gonna cut this at. And I might want Charlie's face a little bit bigger to bring it in. And now I'm gonna slice. Now I don't need that part, delete. I don't need my square outline, delete. And right there is my three and a half inch photo that I get to print and cut just like these up here so i've got one of lenny i've got one of these two girls i mean i'm not really fond of them but you know i couldn't really find a, another picture so i just picked these two girls at random and then i got one of me and james and then of little baby charlie so all of my favorite people and things right here in one little area so i just went through there made it uh printed them out cut them i'm going to go through this process because i want to show you guys I'm gonna send this to my printer. I can, I'm gonna leave bleed on, but I'm gonna click use system dialog. If you do not do this, especially with printing photos, you have to do it. So click use system dialog, click print, and you'll usually have to uh, minimize your screen here and it should pop up right around here. You wanna make sure your quality is a switch from normal to best. You wanna switch your tray to feed from your rear tray, media type photo, this is all perfect. This is how you're gonna get a really professional looking print at home. So I'm gonna click cancel and that's it. I have them all printed, have them all done, have them all cut, we're good to go. Okay, it's coaster making time guys. So these are the two that we have made. I made the one with these two weirdos that I found on the side of the road just to get a picture oh. with them. Really quick. I don't know who they are. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. <laughs> and then of this little baby Charlie. Look at his little hair. I can't even stand it. Okay. So this is what we're going for. Nice, thin. I mean, these are thin coasters. Nice and thin. So I'm going to put those to the side where we need our mold. We need a cup. A popsicle stick. Our color of choice of glitter a lighter and our little spray here, and of course our uh, LED UV light. And our photo, I'm gonna use mine and James's wedding photo. Next week is our four year anniversary. Four years. 
Rach, I will never forget that you came and met with us at Donnie and Julie's on your anniversary. And I didn't even realize it was your anniversary until afterward. Okay, Becca, you know me. Dates are not a big deal. True. Today. That's true. It's not like we canceled some big date night or something. It's the same for us. I mean, yeah. yeah. We had nothing planned. I'm like, James, I'm peacing out. I got, we're, we're going to go start a business if you don't care. <laughs> so, BRB. Okay, also, I don't know where the camera's at. I think they can still see me in the corner. Yeah. I want to mention PPE. I don't want to hear it. Please put your respirators on. Put your gloves on. Go outside. Pray before you do this. Do whatever you feel like is necessary. <laughs> but I'm tired of answering comments about us not wearing things. Listen, if we... If something happens, it's our own darn fault. I'm sorry. We're trying to teach you guys. It's really hard to teach with a respirator on. Also, when you when you come into the most issues is when you are sanding. True. Resin. Very true. And there's no sanding of all people. Yeah. We're not sanding anything. Swear. Please wear a mask. Uh, people say, well, you're not telling them to be careful. Please be careful. I feel like I say your all safety is very important to us. Please wear your PPE. I think I say that plenty. But anywho... Please be safe. Kat and Scott's anniversary, 31st anniversary is tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, happy early Kat anniversary. And Scott. Happy early anniversary. Um, probably a dumb question. This is not a dumb question. What is the difference between photo paper and sticker paper? Miss Shirley. Photo paper is the type of paper that if you were printing uh, photos through, like, a professional um, printing service or Walgreens or wherever you get your pictures printed, that's what photo paper is. Sticker paper is what we make our stickers out of, like Zakoto, um, and then the HTV runt. There is, a, like, it's basically printable vinyl, um, but it's glossy. Great question. Good explanation, Becca. Hi, y'all. I just put some resin in here. Here's the little dance that you're going to have to do with the bottom layer. You can't really like mix any more up and put it in there. I mean, you can, but it won't be like super even because you don't really know how specific you are with your measurements of your glitter. So I want to make my base layer maybe a little thicker than my top layer. So I've just mixed up a little bit of glitter, not a lot of glitter, into my resin. I'm just going to scrape it directly in the mold, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> what is it? Kat said that might be my problem with resin tumblers. I keep forgetting the pre-resin prayer. Where else can you get tips like these? Join the fun. Yeah, listen, I mean, whatever, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to take this, and this is not a lot of resin. You can add more, but I'm going to very carefully kind of um, encourage it to go over the sides. Now, here's the problem when you do this. You don't want to like flood the side and have it go all the way up and like touch the very top edge because you're going to see that in your finished project. So there's also this option. You can take a um, another craft stick and kind of push it where you want it because this is self-leveling. So you can do that if you want to. So you can take it, tip it over and get it super close to the edge if you want to and then just kind of guide it with your popsicle stick so it doesn't get too... Um, too far up the sides of your mold, really to each their own. However you want to figure this out, it's up to you. But if you pour your resin there and you're like, oh, it's not filling the bottom, you know, there's not enough resin, that's not true. I'm doing a super thin, super thin uh, coaster and it works perfectly for me. If you feel like you want to add more, you can add more if you want to. I don't want you to feel like um, you're not getting the outcome you want in this. So again, if you want to add more, feel free to add more. Totally up to you. We're just going to continue to guide this resin all throughout. We want it to hit all the edges, all the corners, all the sides. Okay, I'm going to throw that popsicle stick away. And you can see it's just like self-leveling. Perfect. I'm just going to tap it on our work surface a couple times. Get all those bubbles to rise up. Now I'm going to spray it once or twice with rubbing alcohol. I wish you could have saw that on camera too. It's so satisfying. But it pops all those little bubbles on there. We're going to just wait a few seconds and then we will hit it with our lighter. So let's talk about why there might be bubbles in your yes. UV resin. So I've mixed it up. Yeah. There's a lot of different reasons. 
Whenever I have a cup and I set my cup down, as soon as I'm squirting the resin in there, it's piling on top of each other and creating bubbles in between the layers. Not only that, but after I pour my glitter in there, I'm mixing it up. You're adding air to I'm it. I'm adding yeah. air to it, just like if you are a baker and you're supposed to fold something and not whip it. That's to be gentle. You're adding air into yeah. it, you're, you know, like that. So also if you're at the end of your resin bottle and you're like, you can hear air coming out of it when you're squeezing it, you're, you're putting air into the resin. It's all totally normal, but sometimes you'll have to pop bubbles. Other times you won't. Sometimes there are more than others. So, and those, those are just the things that factor into that. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. If you have bubbles in your project, not even a little bit. Um, it just happens sometimes and you don't want any bubbles on this bottom layer because you're going to be placing your photo on this and you might be thinking, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a perfect layer. You need it to be nice and flat for, I think my lighter's out. You don't mind? Huh. Maybe. <clears throat> We've used all our juice. She's out of juice. Thank you. Oh. Ooh. It's the good wind. I get the, oh yeah. Oh, man, we need one of these, back. I know, we need to order this one. This is easy work here. This is going to be the best coaster ever. So this is a little... It's like a torch. torch like a mini yeah. torch. That's incredible. Love it. So you got all those out of there. No more bubbles. And now I'm just going to take our UV light. Look at that. It glows. Cool. And I'm going to place it down. I'm going to place it down here on the top. Trust me, it's not touching the resin. I promise. Um, also, you can see this... Uh, this heat press back here we're mm -hmm. actually going to be using this today so let me tell you it's not on it's not on no it's she's not on she's 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 cold i have a sheet of our parchment paper here whenever you work with uv resin and molds like this especially when it's over like a wide surface area for whatever reason uh it's gonna kind of be a little bit bendy when you're done when it's hot now it's gonna harden these two i mean they're hard, they're done. But as soon as it's done, it, when it's warm, it's still a little bit bendy and it kind of curls up on the edges. Now, if you were to place this to seal a cup, seal a tumbler, seal a keychain, like an acrylic keychain, it's not gonna do that because it's on a nice, flat, hard, rigid surface. But when you're creating something from nothing and it, the base of it is resin, you want to make sure that it is, um, flat good and flat especially since we're making coasters so after we add our last layer of resin over our photo we're going to actually take this sandwich it between a piece of parchment becca has this thing on like i'm really in the mode yeah I'd as like far to... as pressure goes <laughs> like godzilla has to come in here and push this thing down so i'm gonna throw it in here and clamp it down just as if you would like press a flower in a book you know, just to kind of get that pressure there. And it's cold, okay? It's gonna kind of like cool it down quickly and cool it down flat. So I'm gonna use that. You can use a heavy book. You can, really anything. You can use anything you've got that's heavy if you wanna do that. Rachel, say hello to Danielle. She's found us from MGL Danielle. just very recently. Yes, welcome, hello, welcome. Danielle, welcome. Glad to have you. Drinking some water. I need to do better about drinking water. Me too. I'm a horrible water drinker. I was exceptional when I was pregnant. I was drinking like a fish. And now I just don't drink water barely at all. Got to do better. It's easier when you're doing it for someone. I mean, you were doing it for Charlie. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I can hydrate yeah. for him. I carry this thing around. Holy crap. Well, I had my pink one. You guys remember my pink one that Becca slapped a oak and limb sticker on like halfway sideways up here. It's still going strong. The she's, sticker is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not coming off. No, she's going strong. Do we name our machines? Diana's heat press is Swingin' Sally because she's a swinging human. No, we don't. We named mm -hmm. Lambert because we were forced to on a live. Lambert's our Glowforge, but we haven't really named anything no. else. We used to. At MGL, I yeah. named everything. I had all the easy presses named. We give things genders, but well, that's about it. Becca says we. It's usually me. Generally. It's a yeah. he or a she, yeah. everything. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm just going to continue to move this back and forth to get this nice and cured. Um, I don't really know how long I'm doing it. Again, outside it would it would take no time because it's not opaque. I don't have a lot of glitter in it so that UV is able to penetrate it well through there. I'm still gonna hit it from the back, flip my coaster over, just because for whatever reason, I just don't, I don't know. 
UV resin is so finicky to me when you're using a light, like a lamp. Yeah, if it were outside, it would be better. Rach, did you already talk about clear versus solid? No, I didn't. Solid. I did not. Yeah. Here comes Anna. Good Lord. Ruining the date. No, I'm kidding. Somebody, I think Shirley said, maybe we'll see Anna today. Well, she's here, everyone. She's here. She is here. But Becca was talking about a really good point, and that is clear versus colored uh, resin molds. So if you type in UV resin mold on Amazon, odds are they're all going to be clear because you have select UV resin mold. If you just put in silicone mold or resin mold, it's going to show you so many different colors and types of molds. And you want it to be clear, as Becca was mentioning, because it's UV resin. It needs to have the UV rays penetrate all the way through it on all different sides. And if you can't do that, if it if it doesn't allow the UV rays in there, it's not going to cure. So if I was making this with a colored UV uh, resin mold, it would be like sticky in the middle, not cured on the bottom at all. It would be gross. So I'm going to check on this and it's nice and cured. So I'm going to turn our light off. I'm going to grab our paper. I'm using the one of me and James. Hi, Anna. How are you doing today? What's the matter with her? She had some dental work, and she thinks her whole mouth is, like, Blair. droopy. Did you get, like, a root canal or what? I have to be old to get a root you know, canal. I almost had to get one a couple years ago. She had a cavity. <gasps> yep. She had a cavity. I haven't had one of those since I was about 10, but... Never. Anna didn't have any until she was an adult. What? Yeah. You never had them as a kid? Never I've had never had a cavity, ever. Oh, God. It makes me sick. <laughs> I'm going to line this up. I like to line it up from the bottom and the sides, and that way it just kind of like falls even up top. I tried to use it with my tweezers, but again, it just didn't look good to me. So I'm placing this in there. This one's cute. I like the white. Makes my dress pop. I'm just going through there, making sure it's nice and adhered down. And now this is the easy part. I'm going to take my UV resin. We're all done with placing that down. It's, it's that easy. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to start on the edges and work my way to the middle. And this, the easier you do this, and if you don't overlap, you might not have any bubbles at all. So just be mindful as you're pouring your resin. Just like this. I hope you guys can see this. I don't know if they can. I think they can. Just like that. See how it's just kind of filling up by itself? This is nice. This is nice. I'm just going to kind of barely encourage this to move around here. Just like this. Oh, this looks great. Okay, now I'm going to use my alcohol. Pop my bubbles. That, I think, popped almost every single one of them. I don't know if I'll have to pop any. I don't see any. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, <clears throat> now it's time for the light again. We're going to do the exact same thing. Um, yeah, just start at the top. I'm going to set this down. It's going to start to cure. I'm just going to move it around. And then we're going to transfer it to the parchment paper, and I'm going to throw it in the easy press. Uh, or excuse me, the heat press, just to get it nice and flat and cured. Okay, have I missed any questions? They're so, all mad at Anna. Oh, about her cavities? About the root canal and the old comment. <laughs> well, that's what she gets. Who's the maddest? Cat, probably. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Anna, we're making coasters. Look, this one has you on it. Of course, we have a Charlie coaster. Yeah, I can't stand it. What are the bases of those? Resin. resin. You glitter resin them? Yeah. Just making them out of thin air. No, I she nothing. made them. It's not like we bought them yeah. and then put it on it. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh. She put the glitter in the resin and then made yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure it is. It's right the here. Light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't it cool, Anna? That's awesome. Yeah. I said I probably wouldn't have them in my house because they're all different colors and it's glitter and I'm very boring. And everyone was like, why wouldn't you have that in your house? And Becca's kind of offended too. But I know you understand because me and you were like black, white, gray. And then I said, <laughs> Except I, probably, the nursery, I love glitter but would not have it as a coaster in my house. You could actually do, have you seen picture ornaments? You could make like red and green glitter with picture 
picture and make ornaments out of those for a tree. Oh, oh yeah. that's cute. Yeah. yeah. Cause we have some little circular. That have the whole already in them. Ovular, ovular, oval. Oval. Ovular. Ellipses. <laughs> and ellipses. Whatever. Whatever. Ovular. Not ovular, <laughs> ovular. I don't think ovular is a word, but I really want it to be. I want it to be. It's amazing. I, w I want ovular to be a word. Why can't it be I'm a word? Look it up. Oh, please do. Please, I haven't, I haven't blamed anything on me being homeschooled in a while. Can I blame that on me being homeschooled? It's actually a um, Spanish word, maybe? <laughs> Lost some what? Yes. Here I am speaking Spanish. But I what does it mean? I don't know because I can't read the Spanish. Ovular. <laughs> Is, do we have a Christina's here? Christina, tell us what that means. <laughs> Translate ovular. To, oh, it means ovulate. Eh? That's what <laughs> this says. Translate ovular to English <laughs> means ovulate. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, there you go. An ovulate Christmas ornament. <laughs> that I'm sure. I bet there's SEO for that, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you guys can't see it here, but it's like coming up on the edges. I knew it would be, but it's because it's staying warm. So I'm going to get this thing nice and cured and throw it in her uh, easy press. Keep How it. long does it like you to be on it to cure? Dana, that's a great question. And it's sort of Open not an dish. easy answer. Um, it depends on the temperature in the room. It depends on what kind of resin you're using. It depends on how thick it is. Um, depends on if you have a mix with anything. Yeah. The bottle will say two to four minutes of cure time. However, and, and that's specific to the type of light you yes. have even. So if it's LED or if it's a regular bulb, it, I'm, when I say it's finicky, it it's is a little finicky. finicky. Yeah. But if you put it outside, it's not so finicky. Oh my gosh, it cures in two seconds and it looks phenomenal. I have a cool wood project for Anna to teach, but it would mean Becca making cut files of every state for the Glowforge and Anna teaching the Glowforge. I can make cut files though. I made my own. Are you talking about the amazing ornament that you sent? Because if so, that is a fantastic um, project. And it actually would not be difficult to make uh -huh. all of the states as cut files. It actually would be, I could probably do it in just a couple hours. Hmm. We need some state cut piles anyway. We do. Yeah. We do. So I'm just keeping keeping on curing this. You can flip it back and cure the back a little bit too if you want to. Yeah. Keep asking your questions. Let me know if there's any anything I'm missing. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, Miss Linda is upset because there were 91 watching and only 44 likes. Oh, so make that Linda is happy. A shame. Make Linda happy and like the video. What state ornament are you talking about? Go look over there. It's all of our ornaments that have come in are on the thingy over there. Heat in the back a little. Look, isn't it so cute? Kat, can we show him your ornament? Do you mind? Oh, I'm sure she doesn't mind. Bring it over here, Anna. This one's going to need a little bit of sanding. I didn't even know that was shaped. Oh. Like, I knew the mitten, but what's that up top? Oh. Lake? Lake I got to be in geography. Don't ask me. Look at that. And the rocks are from Lake Michigan. And she put Polly on them so they look um, wet. And it's so cute. I and think she it's so cute. She engraved the acrylic. Oh, it's so stinking cute. It's the Upper Peninsula. We could put some moonshine in ours. It's not a lake. <laughs> I thought it was a lake. What? It's not? When did they add that cat? <laughs> did that. <laughs> oh. Is that new? Y'all need a geography lesson, cat. We do. Wait, honestly, it's very interesting. Anna I was and I, actually very yeah, good at it. Um, I in the, the geography be award. In the seventh or eighth grade, <laughs> Anna and I knew every single state and capital and country and capital in the entire Whoa. world. The Whoa. entire world. And then. Um, I still know quite a few of them. Well, Africa's changed a bit since we learned well, them all. Well, there's some territories that have yeah. changed too, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, like the United Arab Emirates, all that stuff. But it's not like we really need to know it. But I had no idea that Michigan had that top thing. No, I thought it was... 
I thought it was just the men. Right? Well, someone purchased just the, the best, the best ever. That may have been me. It was you. Pop soft. No, it was not. I had a different one, and you brought in that one because it was prettier. No, I Here they go. the one right there that attaches to the side of the thing. I, I didn't had, bring that in. I had just Here a they silver go. one. Can't wait to work with you all full time. It was oh. Rachel. It was Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to work, work with you all full time. Well, gonna have to keep everyone my AirPods list your in state, and the twins can compete on state capital. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. I, know, I, I feel like I'd like to like to do that. <laughs> Danielle thought Michigan was just the mitten too. Thank you. Yes. How old is Danielle? Yeah. How old are you, Danielle? You don't have to if answer you if you don't mind want to. Telling us. My mom told everyone my age on Sunday. Well, Becca. Nobody cares that we're 35. I know, but I thought, Mom, don't get in the habit of that. Because when I'm 60 and still look 40, they're going to wonder. I'm not going to care. I'm going to tell everybody. How old you are? Yeah. I've never been to Michigan ever, actually. Oh, my gosh. They're really doing it. <laughs> this one needs a little sanding on the edges, but it's still super cute. I need to sand the edges over there. I love these. And I thought we were going to have time to make another one, guys. I don't think we Jackson, do. Jackson, Mississippi. What are they saying? Oh, gosh. They want to know. Canada, Province, Ontario. You guys are crazy. But they want us to do the Canada? <laughs> like Toronto or Quebec or something? Quebec! We are twins, Savannah. Yeah. Uh, me and Rachel are. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sure are. What? What? Nothing. Are you done already? I'm done. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I said I could make another, but I, we don't, I don't think we have time. <laughs> I don't think we have time. I was going to make four total, but I have this one a little leany. But it would be a repeat. But again, super easy. I would highly recommend doing them outside. It is going to look phenomenal outside. Because uh, it's going to cure like that. Super, super quick. I love that you made yours clear glitter. What do you mean? It goes better with this the wedding white. dress. It's white. It's not clear. Coconut glitter to make my white wedding dress. Coconut? It's called How coconut. Has your hair grown that much already? Oh, I don't think it's grown that much. I think it has. Oh, you just wait. You just wait till Thursday. You're making me you're, shave it. You're already. getting that. You're, you're getting already that getting it cut. Do I? Do I hear judgment? She said on Facebook she had a couple of slots she needed filled. <laughs> I told her I would be more than happy to be a paying customer for to have her shave my head. <laughs> She actually said, I now know how much you charge for a haircut, so you're going to let me pay you. And I'm like, you're stupid, and I hate you, and you're not. I, But I am. You will find that money somewhere. As often as I'm coming to you, yeah, you need to put, I just need a tab. Just make me a tab. I'll pay you like once every every couple of months. Just a big you old chunk. You when you get your tax yeah. returns every year. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm going to be Anna's most frequent customer. If you got some suicide awareness survivor for mom, dad, sister, brother, etc., and SIDS awareness type files, I would definitely make room in our budget for this membership too. Kathy, that is certainly something to consider. We have a list of cut file requests from members um, where people add requests. Yeah. And so those are super, super specific. Um in the beginning, because, you know, we've only been a company for 10-ish months. So what we concentrate on now is more, um, like, holiday release and um, sports and um, just sort of more generic type files until we fill our, our library full of things that lots and lots and lots of people uh, would Need use. And one. then yeah. we certainly will fill up with, Specific, specific things, things like that people that. are asking yep. for yep yes absolutely and that's just the way it is with all memberships starting out for sure 
But I love those ideas. Love them. Will it curl up if done outside to cure? How long would we press it under something heavy? Great question. Yeah. If it's outside to cure, honestly, it's less likely to curl. Yeah. With the heat and the light being so close to it, it's almost like it shock cures it and it has a little bit more of a tendency to curl up. However, it's not like it ruins the project or anything. Outside, it doesn't do that as much. And also, I only keep kept it under here a minute just or until 30 it, seconds or a minute honestly to cool it down until this it's room plate, temp. this plate is yeah. cold and where it's just kind of a little bit rubbery or bendy i just throw it in there in some parchment paper to get it nice and flat and cool it's not like it's a you know a part of the process that if you don't do it it's going to be you know a mess if it doesn't curl up or anything you're more than welcome to bring the um bring it in from outside and just let it cool down on its own, especially if it doesn't curl up on you. But good question. Um, since we're still talking about locations, I want to know who here is from the Cayman Islands because our number one um, resource, like uh, the, the location that is bringing in the most money on YouTube right now, like over U.S. is the Cayman Islands. We have more viewers. Bring what? Yes, it's from the Cayman Islands. For the last couple times I've looked at it. I want to know who's from the Cayman Islands that's watching us. Because I don't know anyone that's from there. Yeah. Um, that LaDonia's old client's the only one that we know. No, that's a member. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Random. Totally random. Oh, oh look at that baby. One. Look at that baby. He's my favorite one. Why isn't he here? He's at home with his father. Come to the dance. I'm sorry. She didn't know you were going to be here. Because Guess you what never I just tell did us. today, 20 minutes ago. Had to purchase not one but two more Albies for Charlie because he not just. two. Well, free shipping, if it's over $50. Oh. And it was, it's like 15 bucks for shipping. And I thought, the, the darn bee is 25 I might as well just get another bee and have free shipping. So now he's going to have three Albie bee bears because so you started it. I mean, he can be crying. And I show him that bee bear. He stops crying. He just grabs it. He just cuddles it. His world is that is that stinking little bee bear. Oh my god. He loves it. It makes my heart happy. <laughs> oh goodness. So cute. Well guys, did anyone say they're from the Cayman Islands? Okay. Well, if you're a member of Oak and Lamb, you're in luck because we're going live in the private member only Facebook group tomorrow. I'm not sure what time Becca gets to pick that. But we're going to be going live there tomorrow instead of here. So if you're not a member and you want to be, once again, use that code 35 off in the coupon section of the website after you check out and you'll be able to get $35 off of your very first year with us. Now, it's already discounted getting a yearly membership rather than a monthly membership because if you pay it all in once, all in one big chunk, you're already saving some dough. So that's $35 extra dollars off for you guys to get all those amazing member only benefits and the member only videos like the one we're gonna do tomorrow, like the one we did on Friday where I made this beautiful little tumbler. Uh, so definitely grab a membership if you haven't already. Okay, any other questions? I don't think so. Anything else? Let me know, let me know. If you guys have any questions about anything, if I didn't cover anything, if there's any anything else you guys wanna know about oak and lamb or UV resin, let me know. Let me know. Also, I th I'm still on a high from getting 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much again. So exciting. Yes, like the video if you haven't already. 84 watching, only 64 likes. Did you all see our reel that we posted on Instagram and Facebook yesterday with our puzzle lights? I did make a cut file so that you all can create your own puzzle lights or just puzzle ball. You know, it doesn't have to be a light. But I cut some yesterday and our live on Thursday here on YouTube is going to be about these. And I made two sizes. You can make them ginormous, but I made two sizes um one is the size of a good ornament and one is just a little bit bigger but we are going to be teaching on thursday how to cut these out this is made out of plastic folders i made a special material setting for this so i'm going to teach you all how to put those into design space if you need to we're going to cut out some folders and i'm going to teach you all how to assemble it in addition i have created a diagram with instructions 
for our flock members that I will share in the private Facebook group that will help with assembly even more so that's coming up on thursday get excited and i'd say we'll be live at 10 30 tomorrow in the private facebook group i will create an event this afternoon and invite everyone to it so that you can be reminded for that but how cool are these yes they're also pretty sturdy like i feel like i could really throw this around yeah. and it's not gonna go anywhere or yeah. do anything that's really neat i yeah. love these love them and okay someone asked what size are the coasters? The coasters are four inches total, which is a, a standard, really good size for a coaster. And then we had a question, will adding too much glitter keep the resin from curing? Yes, Crystal. We did mention this in the beginning of the video. Thanks for asking again. If you do add too much glitter, it will not allow the UV rays to penetrate the resin well and might keep it from curing properly. Now, you might be able to flip it around out in the sun and get it to cure eventually. It might take longer. I would err on the side of less less glitter than you think. Usually a little bit of glitter does go a long way as far as creating the color and the style and the sparkle that you want without having to load it up with glitter, especially since you're using a type of resin that's not very cheap. I would err on the side of less glitter so you don't ruin it and then waste your time and your money. That's just my two cents. Uh, Tina says illustrator course question mark Tina we do have an illustrator course um, we can share that soon with you all we have we did have a pre-sale and purchase or not pre-sale we did have a purchase area uh, part of the problem with our website like I said a little bit earlier some of it is working properly others are not that is one that is not um, checking out on the illustrator page is not currently working like it should be um, so unfortunately we cannot sell that Currently, but hopefully by the end of the week, we'll be able to do that. Um, I might have missed your answer, but does glitter only go in the first layer? It does. Yes. That's kind of like the base color pop layer. Uh, we place our um, printable vinyl on top of that and just a clear layer of resin, and that's it. You're good to go. Do you have a link for the file folders you used to make the balls? Um, I don't currently have it. We do have it and we'll be placing it in the description of Thursday's Live. And then we also have some links for you all for those of who wanted to make like larger ones. And we'll talk all about this on Thursday. Cutting out 30 pieces out of larger ones is would take some time and cutting them all out and all that stuff. So you may want to buy it like a pre-done set of them. And so we'll have links for that as well. Um, Great questions, everyone. I'm this is a good Christmas gift yeah, idea. Yeah. It is. Or a wedding gift to put someone's engagement photos on, like a set of six, and then give it to them. That would be great. You could even add um, some vinyl to the back if you wanted to, or to the front with their like wedding date on there. There's a lot of little different fun things you could do with these coasters, for sure. Um, Yay, Maria. Good to go for a year at her oncologist visit. Yay, Maria. Oh, I'm so glad. That's amazing. Oh, uh, Tara, you guys are seriously the best. I'm so glad I joined the flock. I've seriously not laughed this much in months since my mom passed away. Oh Thank you. We're so, we're so happy to, to be a little laughter in your yeah. day. Yeah. yeah, we're so glad that you, you trust being here with us and that we can make you laugh. We're so glad that you're here. Here's a great resin question. When you cure the resin in the sun, do the edges turn up? Usually, no. Not nearly as bad as with the light. It's almost like the light flash cures it and kind of shocks it and the edges kind of turn up it does not do that near as bad out in the sun even if it does curl up just a little bit applying a heavy book on it or putting it in your cooled down heat press or something like that will take care of it easy peasy if it's still warm and a little bit bendy before it cools down absolutely and you don't need to add a protective cover on the picture you do not you just put it right on top of that printable vinyl yes. and it works out great are the new cut files on the website? Beth, the new cut files are in the Dropbox folder um, that is pinned to the top of the private Facebook group. They are all organized in folders there and you can find them once the website is up and running completely. All of the files will be back on the website. Um, but I didn't really see the point in adding them to the website just yet because I'm not sure what needs to change and whatnot. We may have to revert a little bit um, to an older version of something and then we would just have to redo it. So uh, that's a lot of information, but again. they yeah. are available. If you yes. need that link, let me know. You can email us hello at oakandlamb.com or you can find it at the top of the private Facebook group. Yes. Um, Oh, speaking of Illustrator, will you do a video on sh keyboard shortcuts in design space? I love keyboard shortcuts. Um, Diana, we have a, 
we did a live, I'm trying to remember that live, where we did talk about keyboard shortcuts in Design Space, and I also created a graphic for Flock members that lists all of our favorite keyboard shortcuts. It is posted in the private Facebook group, um, and members can find it there if you need help with it. Again, let me know. I'll help you find that. Yes. Um, Violet Flame, yes, I did mention that earlier. The heat being so close to the resin is a factor with the edges curling. Again, we recommend you going outside. If you can, please go outside and cure these. It's going to work a lot better. Uh, but we know that that's not always possible for some people. So we always want to try and make a couple of projects that are using the light. So that's just one of the, um, one of the prices you pay when you use a light like this. Yes. Do we have any remedies for sinus pressure? I love peppermint oil. Young live or not young, it doesn't matter what brand, but peppermint oil like on my forehead and over my sinuses. Anna does this fun massage thing on her sinus areas that helps reduce pressure. And then also neti pots are pretty amazing. Yeah. That whole this thing. This isn't much for sinus pressure, but for congestion and things, don't count out the early 2000s trend of breathe right strips because let me tell you they yep. do work it's they open that up right there. i don't it? know also um a cool compress i'm told because it uh, reduces swelling that are in your sinuses and nasal cavities and will help with yeah. pressure there hey we're from east tennessee where pollen is abundant 24 yeah. 7 so we deal with this a lot <laughs> yes maybe a nice hot steamy shower would help yeah, huh? yeah. Clear that out a little bit. I hate being, I hate the pressure. I hate sinus pressure. It's do the worst. Do you ever do that massage drainage thing? Mm -mm. If you'll massage right here. I don't get congested. For a little bit. It's like headache. Oh, well, I get those like, a lot. You push right there and it's sore. You've got drainage there. Ew. And then after you massage there for a minute, you literally make it go down your eyebrows like this and that drains oh. it. Oh, wow. Linda says, I use the Adobe Illustrator free background remover. It was so easy, right, Miss Linda? It is so easy, and I love it. It works really, really well. Rach, have you updated your iOS on your phone yet? <laughs> no. I feel like it won't even work on my phone. My it will. Really Yours is the old. last one. What's? Do you know what iOS you have on your phone? Do you want me to check? Yeah, I bet it's like 13. It's you probably old. haven't even updated I it. No, I click no, no, no. Okay, hang on. The, <laughs> it's 14. 14.4 <laughs> is the one that I have. Oh my. I, I, I hate it. I hate updating my phone. I, don't, I love What's it. What's the newest update? 16. You're way behind. <laughs> You're way behind. I'm sorry. Megan, yes, the iOS remover is absolutely amazing. Can we see the coasters again? Yes. Yes. Here's baby Charlie and me and James and me and two hobos. 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 Me and two hobos. I've just got 15.7. You don't okay. have 16 either? No. Do it. It's amazing. Seriously, I'll show you after the live. You're going to die when you see this one feature. Like you're going to. See, your mind is like, me. What is wrong with you? you I can, don't like change. I don't like change. But you can either. edit text messages with errors in them. You can unsend them. You know the best part? You can pause and fast forward through voice messages yes uh-huh worth the 16. yes it is i'll do that as soon as the live's over <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness yeah yeah goodness. anyway we will see you all tomorrow in the private facebook group for a member only live if you want to join join the flock is it can yeah. i see me or overhead they only want to see charlie and me and anna oh okay yeah yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. There's Rachel. <laughs> There's Rachel. Let me know what we can do for you. As always, leave your video ideas or your topics or your project ideas in the comments below. I love looking through and getting inspired by your all's questions and comments and project ideas. So definitely keep doing that. We will see all of our amazing members tomorrow in the member only Facebook group to do some super fun projects. But until then, I hope you all have a great afternoon and we will see you later. Bye everyone.